Well, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here, and today we have another episode of Boosters and Binders. We're finally gonna get into my Rebel Clash binder and open up a whole bunch of packs here with hopes of adding stuff to the binder that I don't already have. So as you can tell, the camera angle is a little bit different here. I adjusted ahead of time, so when I bring the binder in, we can have a better view. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what we can pull here today and uh, excited to show you guys where I'm at in this binder so far. Um, there are some code cards for you. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. I got 10 packs here. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited to see what we can get. So I'm just gonna move those off to the side like that. All right, here we go. Uh, hopefully everyone's had a good week so far. Uh, if you've watched my content that I put out this week, I've been having an amazing week. And uh, if you haven't caught Monday or Wednesday's videos, I highly recommend going to check them out after this here. Uh, or pause this and go check them out. Um, it was probably one of the best booster boxes I've ever opened. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will really enjoy that one. So without further ado, let's crack right into this here. So we have Sonya, Pelipper, a Yan Mask. We have Surskit, Stuffle, Coughing, Imp Dimp. We have a Luxio as a reverse. And behind that, to start us off, is a Alcremi non hollow rare. Um, Thinking about some of the cards that I still need, and obviously you guys will see here in a minute, I do just still need some of the V-Maxes. Um, but I think the majority of the stuff that I need is all on the tail end, uh, meaning like some of the, the full art Pokemon, the full art trainers, and then like the rainbow rares and the uh, gold cards. So if we can pull anything today that's brand new that I didn't already have, you know, that's absolutely amazing. But if not, I'm still gonna have a good time doing this. And, uh, all this stuff is just gonna go into my bulk pile, which I'll eventually trade in. So yeah, positives all around. So we have a uh, Volibee as the reverse. Nice, Cinderace V, very, very nice to see early on. Let me go ahead and get my Rebel Clash sleeves here. Um, so something else I guess I'll just put out as a question and if anyone's actually watching this and wants to comment, uh, please feel free to do so. But um, I haven't really shown like a, like a behind the scenes or like how my setup is or, you know, just pretty much how I how I do everything I do for this channel. Uh, so if anyone would be interested in a little bit of behind the scenes, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, trust me, I don't live in some extravagant, humongous house or anything like that, but uh, I do have some other cool collectibles and maybe just show you guys the displays and yeah, just a little bit more about me. Um, but yeah, I haven't really gone over or discussed, so. Just let me know. All right, so let's see what we have in this one here. A Milo as the reverse. This is a really cool full art. And behind that, nice, Malamar VMAX. Okay, starting to pick up a little bit here. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, hopefully we can keep rolling with these pulls because even if I have duplicates for some of these, um, I'm either just gonna trade them or sell them off on Instagram, which if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, I will leave that link in the description definitely come check me out. I usually post stuff up for sale or trade, uh, I don't know, usually once a week, uh, just depending on how the polls were and if I had any like duplicate stuff. But uh, yeah, not too bad so far. I got two good pulls. I'm not sure if I need the Malamar VMAX or not, um, but uh, we shall see here in just a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and slide that code off there. Best of luck to whoever's getting these. And uh, like I always say, uh, you know, if you end up claiming a code, just leave some for everybody else. Just kind of share the wealth or spread the wealth. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are getting them and it's not just uh, some, uh, some neckbeard bot. <laughs> it's just hanging out, stealing codes. All right, Mandibuzz as the reverse and a Galarian and Mr. Rhyme. That's why I picture when people tell me, oh, you know, there's bots taking your codes. It's just someone just like, in a really dark room with like a bunch of computers set up a bunch of screens and they're just just capping codes from multiple youtubers and any source they can um now i know and i've actually talked to somebody uh that that does farm codes just trying to get more insight on number one why people do it and like what's the real point um and this person just sells them like they just stack codes into a database and then they can sell them you know either on an online store or ebay or anything like that which I mean, I think it's kind of ridiculous, but to each their own, I guess, right? I'd rather the codes go to my viewers and you guys enjoy them. But uh, 
just how it is sometimes. Uh, Non-hollow rare on the end there. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things I just I just sit around and I think about, like, hmm, I wonder how this happens or how this works. And then I just end up doing all kinds of research. So that same thing with, uh, with like, rumors within the Pokemon company, you know, with upcoming sets or anything like that. I do a lot of research, uh, especially English, um, but I do a lot of the Japanese sets as well to look ahead um, because they do push out products all the time. And not even just, uh, you know, new sets. They have theme decks they push out. They have the special um, collection boxes they push out. So a lot of stuff that we don't ever have any notice of or idea of in the U.S. or pretty much anywhere outside of Japan. Uh, Mr. Rhyme as the reverse and a Unpheasant. Um... But yeah, it's one of those things where, especially because I'm just a, you know, a collector of Pokemon stuff in general, I do like to try and pick up Japanese stuff. Um, you know, there's just, <laughs> they just push out so much product and it, it's, it appears that the English side of the house is starting to get the same way where, I mean, look at how fast these sets are coming out. And, uh, you know, it, it just feels like for some people, they don't even get to enjoy it before the next set is being like shoved down their throat. Um, especially me as a content creator, like I, I like going through these sets. I like taking my time and trying to collect them, opening up all the different products, which uh, I am still trying to pick up the brand new tins that came out recently. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, oh, nice. Got an Appleton Hollow. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, even if I wasn't creating this content and I was just still collecting on my own, it's, it's a little overwhelming at times. And uh, I could only imagine... Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just going on a rant right now, but it's uh, it, it just gets kind of crazy sometimes when you know you're two to three weeks in a set. It's not even a month old, and they're already advertising or talking about the next set. Um, so it's one of those things where it, it's a very expensive hobby, and uh, it's a lot to keep up with. But even if you do it casually, it's all about just having fun, collecting cards, or you know actually playing the TCG with friends. Um, and just like, you know, sharing the experience with the community. I think that's the most important part. Um, all right. I think that's enough talking for one video from me. Let's get old Magma reverse here. More amazing artwork there. And behind that, good old Cramoran, my arch nemesis from Sword and Shield base. I think I pulled, I don't know, like 10 or 15 Cramoran Vs during my like initial run of Sword and Shield base. All right. Let me take a short break here. We got a couple packs left, but I want to give out some more codes. Here we go here. And hopefully, I know you guys have to write them in or someone may still be able to scan them in, but I do that just to give more people a chance to get some packs. Um, yeah, and like I said, hopefully someone out there is actually able to get some of these. All right, one pack remaining after this, and then we'll get into the binder real quick and I'll send you guys on your way. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you leave a like and some comments for me to go through. I do respond to all the comments. Um, and I just like having conversations with the viewers. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend it. We did just hit 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I still can't believe it. Um, and I am planning a, a celebration video for that, so stay tuned for that as well. Darumaka as the reverse. And Inteleon V, very, very nice card there. All right, not bad. Hopefully there's something in this last pack here to kind of close this off, but still not bad out of 10 packs. All right, here we go. On to the last pack here. It would be nice to see this VMAX here, um, especially because that's one of the ones I don't have. And the Rainbow Rare looks absolutely amazing. So let's see if we can get anything in this pack here. Best of luck to whoever got that code. And here we go. Starting off with the water energy, maybe there's some good luck. We have Electrode, Zatu, Lombre, Fidov, Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandy Gast, Vulpix, a Surskit as the reverse, and behind that, of course, the Dodo Bird to end off with. Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right, so we'll look at these cards real quick, and then we will get into the binder. So we ended up pulling that Appleton Holographic, which is very, very nice. We got the Cinderace V, always a nice card there. We got Inteleon V. Um, Snipe Shot is such a ridiculous move, especially in the games. It just it looks nuts. And we got that Malamar V Max there, absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we got all that. I'm gonna put these off to the side. So if, uh, if I do have a spot for the binder form, then I'll just grab that there. Um, all right, so 
I'm just actually gonna move it just a little bit here. So here is the binder. It's another card guard binder. This is the white one. Um, I'm just gonna say is this one is so hard to keep clean even though like it just goes to the closet, but any little smudges or anything, it's very hard to keep white clean. So here we go. Um, I've got pretty good progress on this binder here, especially with some of these, uh, the reverse rares or the reverse hollows. Um, it's just another amazing set. You got Rillaboom and the V Max there. You got Nine Tails, and we have Eldegoss V at the top. Um, just really, really awesome set. Um, Cinderace and its V Max there. Good old Melodic. I thought that one was kind of random that they added that in, uh, but it seems like every Sword and Shield set there's just like one random. They're like, oh, here you go. Here's a here's a V. Um, so we have Inteleon and the V Max there with Ice Q up top. See, I'm missing the Toxtricity VMAX there. So the search continues for that one. One of my favorite psychic types there, good old Sillaglyph. What else? So we got Dragapult and its VMAX there. Very, very nice. Uh, we have Sanaconda and we have uh, Phalanx up top. And again, just a lot of amazing artwork in this set. All right, so I do have Malamar VMAX, so there's a nice duplicate. Uh, one of my favorite artworks in this set, good old Scizor there. Um, so that's the other one I'm missing is the Copperage of VMAX. Good old double. Boss's orders. I do have a bunch of duplicates of those. Uh, hollow and reverse hollow. And then the end here. So I really like all these new energies that they're doing like this here. Um, just really cool artwork. And then a lot of these really absolutely beautiful full art Pokemon here. Um, yeah, just a lot of amazing stuff here. Then we have good old Milo and Olina. I did pull Sonya the other day, which is very, very nice. Uh, just a couple rainbows, but I think there's some of my favorite ones. We have Cinderace, we have Alina, and we have good old Boss's Orders. It's funny how I have the rainbow version of this and not the regular full art, but hopefully I can pull that soon. We got the Scoop Up Net gold card there, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we have the Tool Scrapper gold card. Again, another amazing card there. So I don't have much to go, but like I said, a lot of it is on the higher end cards there. So. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I do have one more stack of codes for you. So best of luck to whoever is getting that there. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know if you want to see more of my binders. Um, and I'll go through the collection uh, as I can. Again, if you want to see a behind the scenes of uh, my little setup here and how I operate my little YouTube channel here, definitely let me know in the comments. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.